Hi guys. Uh, here it is. I wish I could say it was hump day. It's not really. I'm a day late and a dollar short. So it's actually no makeup Thursday, as you can tell. Today we have a great little project. I have tried so hard to avoid the gnome subject, but um, I, I gave in. I surrendered. And so we're going to paint a funky little gnome today. Uh, but before we get to that, I have a winner for the drawing last week, and that lovely lady is Sherry Dollar from Bainbridge, Georgia. Sherry, don't forget to message me with your shipping information so that we can get you your brand new Dynasty Stencil Pro brushes out to you as soon as possible. And thank you for viewing every Wednesday, and in this case, Thursday. I appreciate it. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel so that you're notified every time we put up a new video. So we're just about ready to get to it. And this is the little guy we're gonna paint. He's a very straightforward, simple little gnome. I've used this surface before. We used this for the little Santa Claus. And uh, I really like this surface. It's fun to work with, it's simple, and you can create so many different things with it. I also wanted to do something that involved a little bit of hair so that we could work with a little bit of texture and I could show you a few tricks to doing that and uh, also to come up with uh, something that we could glue on because you know I like the accessories and every gnome needs some accessories so I came up with these little wooden stars and uh, I have a nifty little stenciling technique for you too so this is how this goes this one is really simple so we're going to start with this little surface this is the banner surface that I used for the Santa Claus last week or the week before and I'm using it again this time mainly because I really like the shape of it and it lends itself well to this type of design. So I've base coated the top of this with two coats of Tuscan Red. The nose is based with cotton candy. The inside of the mouth is Tuscan Red and that lower lip is cotton candy as well. And then the mustache and beard is all based with slate gray. Now, aside from that, you don't need a whole lot of colors to paint this little guy. He's very simple. So, and for each of these little gnomes, we need two of these little wooden stars. Now, these are really cheap. You can get a bag of like five million of them at Michael's for about five bucks. They come in various sizes inside there. I think there's three or four different sizes of stars in this thing, and it comes in handy. It's great for embellishing all sorts of things. So, to work on this guy, we need to start with his beard. Now, the brush that I'm using for the beard this one is a 3 8 black silver, and this is a rake. You can tell it's got the very fine bristle at the end and a little thicker back here. So you get it wet, and we're going to pick up warm white for this. And you need a fair amount of paint and a fair amount of water. And get that brush right full. It needs to be full of paint. And now you're going to press it down, like so. Give it a twist so that it opens up the brush. And now you can go start with his mustache as close to the nose as you can get. And you start pulling things like this. And when you run out of paint, don't forget to reload. It's going to give you all kinds of little fine stria. So right off the bat, it's going to create some hair. and you're going to shape that mustache, just like that. And then you can start doing this underneath the chin. You can leave a small space between the mustache and the beard. You're going to shade this anyhow, so it'll crisp up and, and define it better. So neatness doesn't count, it's a beard. Lots of little straggly hairs. Just like so. And you give that a minute to dry and then you're going to repeat the process with finer lines. And then once you've done two or three layers, you can do it again, but this time with titanium white, which is a little bit brighter than the warm white. And you can come back in and layer some of that on, just like so so that his 
beard starts to flow a little bit. Now, if in at any time you feel it's getting overworked, you can always pick up a little bit of slate gray on that brush and repeat the process just to put some shadows back in. So if it gets a little overworked and you think you're losing some of the texture, you just pick up a little of the slate gray and come back into the beard with it, just like that. And this just recreates some of the, that background color that kind of gets lost if you overwork. So what you'll end up with is something like this. It's going to have a variety of lines and, and shapes in it. And then you're just going to set that aside to dry and then your next stage is to do some stenciling. Now, I have a trick. If I were to take yellow and try to go over top of this red, that you see here, it doesn't show up very well because the yellow is quite transparent. So there's a way, a workaround for that. Pick up just a small amount of the warm white on your stencil brush and stencil over that red with a little of the warm white and then let it dry. Then you can come back in with your stencil brush and that sunny day, that's what I've used for this. And you can stipple that in over top of that white. Gently, you don't have to pound it on, just gently put it in. Just like that. And what, will, what happens when you put that in there is it gives you a more opaque base for that bright yellow. And so you get nice bright yellow without getting lost in that red. Now we want to add a little dimension to these stars. So I'm going to use a little bit. This is spiced pumpkin. So I'm picking up just a little of that spiced pumpkin on my stencil brush. And I'm going to lightly do just one side of the star. And I'm going on the left hand side. And this will add a little shadow to one side of the star. And there you have it. We have nice bright yellow stars on top of a very dark red. Easy peasy. So we have a nose to contend with, and he's very simple. We're going to take an angled shader, and this is a double load. Now what that means is that on the heel of the brush, I'm going to put an amount of the base color, which is cotton candy. And on the toe of the brush, which is the long point, I'm putting a little bit of the Tuscan Red. And I'm going to blend the brush back and forth until those two colors merge, just like that. And I'm going to add a shadow to the back side, or in this case, this side of the nose. Now I'm laying the whole chisel edge of that brush on the surface. And this will give you a nice clean gradient from that Tuscan Red into that cotton candy. We'll give that a second to dry. And I'm going to pick up a small amount of titanium white for the highlight on the opposite side. And it's just a little bit, just like that. Now the final point on that nose is just a little dot of titanium white right there. So we have a highlight on the nose. So from there, we have to start defining that mustache. And we're going to do that with a float of asphaltum. I know you thought you were getting away without using asphaltum in this piece. You were wrong. So I have some asphaltum and I have some Bahama blue. The Bahama blue is going to be the first color I put on. So blend that out as if to float. And you're going to apply that color underneath the beard and around that curve in the mustache. 
and it doesn't need to be very strong. Just like that. And we're going to do the same thing over here and in here and around his nose. Just like so. Now that little bit of Bahama blue in there is going to help keep that hair or that mustache looking white and keep it looking bright. And it helps shape this mustache very nicely. And then once I've done that, I go all the way around the outside edge of the beard as well. It's not a perfect float. Neatness doesn't count. Perfection is to be avoided at all costs. There we go. We'll give that a second to dry and then we'll start doing the heavy shading on that. So let's move up to the hat. I'm shading with a little bit of soft black. I like soft black on reds. It's a great color for shading red. And I'm shading around the mustache, over the bridge of the nose. And again, you'll notice whenever I'm shading that the whole chisel edge of that brush is on the surface. Again, this does not have to be a perfect float. It's just creating a little bit of shadow. And then I'm going to take that same color up the sides and into the corners. I like walking the color out a little bit from the corner. It rounds things out a little. And then come across the top in the same way and do the same thing in the opposing corner. You're gonna go right over the stars, that's okay. And down the side. And you can continue to deepen that until you're happy. If you like it darker, then by all means make it darker. I know I do. Okay, so I think that that part, our beard is dry now. So I'm coming into the beard with a float of asphaltum. Now, I'm going to brush this color out a lot. I don't want it full strength. That would be too dark. So I'm gonna come right up underneath the beard, covering the mouth, and float right over that Bahama blue. Just like that. Do the same on that little bit behind the mustache, back here. And I'm going to go all the way around the outside edge, right over the Bahama Blue. Now the fun part about this type of beard is that we can highlight at any time. We don't have to do it all in one go. So I'm going to come around the must around the nose like so. A little bit down here. Just like that. And you can deepen them whenever it suits you. Now we get to add a few little highlights to this beard. I like to do that with my rigger. And this time around, I'm using titanium white because I want a brighter white than the one that I used. And so I'm going to start under his nose. And I'm just going to add some simple little lines like so. 
and a little one to add a curl to the end of his mustache. So these little lines are, just make the beard look a little fluffier, a little fuzzier. And you can add a few more in here if you feel that your mustache isn't quite bright enough. And do the same thing on this side. I like the little flick, the curl at the end of the beard. Just gives him a little bit of character. So don't feel that these lines have to be perfect. They're more interesting if they're not. I also like a few brighter lines in here too. So we'll set him aside to dry and we're going to come over to this star. Now the stars are all based with the same color I'm using the sunny day and I'm going to pick up just a little bit of that spiced pumpkin and I'm going to put a float of that color down one side just the same way we did with the other the stenciled stars on the hat. So that little shadow and then a little bit of warm white and we'll put a brush highlight just on the tips of those little stars like that. We have one more over here. Now I have to break out my trusty pen. You know I can't seem to paint anything without my, my little gel pen. I like to go in and just add a few little details in and around just to make them pop a little bit. And it's just a light sketchy line. I don't want anything too hard edged, nothing too straight. And you can do the same thing around the nose. Just leave the little sketchy lines. So as always, I have to spatter everything because I like spatter. So I'm gonna grab one of my fugly brushes. I got a new fugly brush, no paint on this one. And I'm going to start with a little bit of a schfaltum because I like that color. And I'm going to spatter just lightly. I don't want a ton of it on there, like so. Do your stars too. And I'll rinse that out. And I'm going to go to my warm white, again, because I like that color. And I'm going to spatter just to make him look a little less perfect and add a little bit of snow-like look to him. We're gonna give that a second to dry. And I, this is my favorite tool for finishing edges. I love using um, a gold paint pen or a copper paint pen or a silver one. I just like the way it finishes things. And I just go around the outside edge like so. But I like it to add a little bead of gold to the edge on the front. Not a lot, but a little. It just finishes the edges nicely. And that little sparkle of gold is just gives a little bit of a festive look. Just like that. And then the final step will be to add these fun little stars to our ornament. And for that, I gotta get a break out my Aileen's because I like my Aileen's tacky glue. Now you can place these wherever you want. If you wanted to put them up here, put one up here and say one further down on his hat, that could work. 
I don't know, I'm kind of partial to having them on his beard, but I'm going to change things up a bit, maybe put something more towards the middle. Like so. And I will do the same thing with the smaller one. Try to keep that orange to the same side. Design-wise, it just works better. And there we have it. It's been spattered, we've done the gold edge on it. The final thing will be to string these onto a really cute little banner. I'll finish up the last one and we'll have a fun little gnome for the holidays banner. Hey guys, thanks for joining me again today. I do have a giveaway today. We have a gorgeous set of stencils for the snow day pattern plus the pattern for one of you. Let us know where you're, where you're watching from. Put a comment in the comment section. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And I'm live every Saturday on Facebook with a full class. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you again soon. Love you. Stay safe.